If you look up the names of everyone's character in this movie, you'll see that four of them actually have names, and one of which is Captain. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Underwater. So underwater takes place deep in the ocean on a research facility. A group of researchers are fighting to get to the surface after being hit by what they feel like is an earthquake. Now the way that this movie starts, it felt like it had a hot date to get to. It doesn't waste any time introducing characters, letting us know why they're there, what they're there for, how long they've been there, none of that. It just gets right into it. Immediately, everything starts blowing up and people are getting tossed around left and right. And because of this, I feel like there's a good amount of action, but they do sacrifice a little by not building those strong characters. Majority of this movie, they really focus on the plot of trying to escape or just make their way to the surface. At times it felt like they were just stumbling across the ocean and somehow running into one of the research facilities. And when that would happen, the movie really shows inconsistencies. I felt like since the movie is about monsters and they're out in the ocean where the monsters are, the monsters should have shown up but they really don't. It's almost as though they took a back seat. Acting overall is decent. It's not packed with deep dialogue and I don't think anyone's winning an Oscar from it. I do like the mixed personalities that this movie had. Christian Stewart supplies the brain and the leadership role of the movie. I think her doing independent films has really helped. You can see she's breaking out of that character, Bella. TJ Miller does good as well. He doesn't get a name for this movie, but he doesn't really need one. I like the casting of his character. He supplies that dark Deadpool type humor that we're used to seeing, and he keeps the movie pretty entertaining. I think it would have been a little less interesting if he wasn't in the movie. Jessica Henrik also does well. She's more of a timid, scared character. It was good to see a different side of her from the Daredevil shows that we were used to seeing her in, where she's more of a fighter and headstrong character. This one was good for her, and I'm excited to see what else she might be in. As far as the monsters, when we do see them, I think they're okay. One of them is very Pacific Rim-esque, but overall they do their job at being a nice monster for the movie. The only weakness I had with them was that it would have been cool to see them fight them more, figure out why they were there, or give them kind of a, a backstory as well. Since everyone's researchers, we should have got some type of research from these monsters. But overall, I did enjoy seeing them when they were on screen. After Krista Stewart's hiatus from the big screen, it's good seeing her back. I think the stench of Twilight is now gone, and I'm interested in seeing what other movies she has coming, because it definitely looks like she's coming into her own acting-wise. So I'd say Underwater is definitely a movie to catch at a matinee. Have you seen Underwater yet? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and attack the comments section. Peace.